Alright, hello guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about our first major nor'easter for the northeastern United States. We're going to go over what to expect as far as winds are concerned, rainfall is concerned, and then we're going to also go over your current warnings, watches, and advisories, of course. But before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now let's get right into things. Again, we're starting out things looking at pivotal weather, looking at all of our warnings, watches, and advisories. You can see down there for Delaware, New Jersey, Long Island, and a little bit of Massachusetts, we are under coastal flood watches because of this nor'easter. Obviously, it's going to be bringing winds and waves onshore, and that's going to lead to some coastal flooding being possible. You can see there is a dark green area there down in southern southeastern Massachusetts that is a flood watch right there I believe and then also for down there in Cape Cod Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard we do have some high wind watches I believe that's either a high wind warning or high wind watch there uh, but we're going to be receiving a lot of very very gusty and strong winds for that area we're going to go over again the total winds to be expected throughout this entire video so stay tuned for all of that if you do live in these areas now, according to NOAA, this is from the National Weather Service, this is how much rainfall is to be expected for all of these regions. So we are expecting a ton of rain, particularly for Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island. All of these regions are expecting to receive the most, but in between Providence, Boston, and then also Cape Cod, Nantucket, and Martha's Vineyard, that's where we're expecting to receive the most rainfall. That's where we're in the four inches plus of of rainfall expected so those green colors we're expecting anywhere from 0.1 to 0.5 inches of rain in the blue 0.5 to 1 inch in the purple 1 to 2 inches in the red 2 to 4 inches and then in that yellow we're in the you know 4 to to 15 inch range so that that's f basically four inches plus of rain but in those darker colors that we see down there for cape cod and areas alike we are expecting six inches plus i must mention now, here's your gust, max wind gust throughout the next 24 hours, which won't cover the entire storm, by the way. I just wanted to mention, but this is the furthest out that the National Weather Service forecasts gusts. But you can see along the coasts of Maine, we're expecting some of those pink colors. So in those pinks, we're expecting 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts to be possible. And then within some of those red and magenta colors, we're expecting 35 to 45 mile per hour winds to be possible in those regions. Also, I wanted to mention that the blues are basically 20 mile per hour and below. Then in the yellows and oranges, we're expecting 45 mile per hour gusts to be possible. 45 mile per hour gusts and above to be possible for all of those regions like Martha's Vineyard, Long Island, uh, Nantucket, uh, looks like Cape Cod, and maybe even a little bit of the south side of Boston being involved in that as well. Now we're going to go over our future cast radar. This is the RGEM model. This is my favorite short range model and it seems to do the best in winter and cold season types of situations, which basically what I'm trying to say is it doesn't do good with severe thunderstorms in my opinion, but with, you know, storms like this uh, and winter storms, it does great job. So here we're looking at right now. So this is Wednesday morning. Uh, you can see we have a low pressure system offshore of maybe, I would say, the Delmarva. It's offshore of the Delmarva. Now, we're going to move on to later this afternoon. And you can see we're going to start to get rain moving onshore to New Jersey, Long Island, and southern New England. Some of those yellows indicating the heavier, moderate to heavy rain there for some of those regions. That's in between Connecticut and Rhode Island by that point. We are going to move on to later this evening, and you can see it is moving further north. It is offshore, well offshore of New Jersey by this point, but we can see some of those yellows again being pushed onshore of the, again, southern New England regions. We're still receiving some showers there for New Jersey. Let's move on to early, early, early tomorrow morning. And again, those yellows and oranges are being pushed onshore to southern New England, southeastern New England. So Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard, Cape Cod. We're all getting the worst of this precipitation by this point, but as you can see by, this is tomorrow, maybe mid-morning, we do have Cape Cod getting the brunt with some of those reds showing up. That's going to indicate very, very heavy precipitation at times for you guys over there. Let me tell you, if this one was a snowstorm, like if this one was like two months or three months later, we'd be talking about a 
pretty, pretty decent snowstorm going on here. But thankfully, this is just a rainstorm. Or or not thankfully, it just depends on how you think, obviously. But we're, we're seeing rain reach in northern Massachusetts by this point and a lot of Connecticut. Uh, let's move on to 20Z Thursday. I wanted to mention this time frame. This is kind of early evening because you can see that I wanted to show one frame that just shows that we are seeing the indications that at time Boston will be receiving this heavy precipitation. Uh, if I was only selecting the 6Z, 12Z, 18Z, and 0Z, which is on six hour increments, and none of them actually showed Boston getting hit with this heavier precipitation. But I wanted to show this 20Z frame just to let you guys know that downtown Boston, you're not out of this just because none of the other frames show you guys getting the brunt of this. These these bands, these yellow and orange bands are moving from east to west, and then as soon as they reach kind of, I would say the middle regions of Massachusetts, they start to curve back down south, back into Connecticut, and then again, they wrap around the low pressure system, obviously. Let's move on to Zero Z Friday, so this is late evening on Thursday, October 11th, and we have that heavier precipitation in central uh, Connecticut, central Massachusetts, southern New Hampshire, and then also still Cape Cod. So you can see that that heavier precipitation does extend further and further into the state at times. And this is just a ex very, very extended amount of heavy precipitation. Let's move on to late in the middle of the night on Friday. And you can see that we do have, again, still heavier precipitation now reaching the very western regions of Connecticut and Massachusetts, trying to extend and stretch all the way over there. But still, that southeastern region of Massachusetts is still getting hammered with heavy precipitation by this point and at hour 54 this is friday mid-morning you can see we're starting to weaken quite a bit with the precipitation it's turned into kind of moderate showers in those darker greens but a lot of the yellows and reds have dissipated by this point and at this point we're going to go ahead and switch to a more low resolution model that goes further out so at hour 72 this is zero z saturday indicating this is about late evening friday and you can see we have only light greens for New England by this point. So that's indicating very, very light showers by this point. And then you can see by 12Z Saturday, mid-morning Saturday, it's moving east now by this point and kind of getting out of here. It's it's getting out of the way now. So that's, that's your entire storm as far as precipitation type and everything and reflectivity. Here's your precipitation total by the R gem. You can see in those greens, we're at anywhere from 0 0.01 inches of rain to half an inch of rain. In the blues, we're at half an inch to two inches of rain. And in the pinks, we're at two inches to six inches of rain. You can see we never quite get into that red color here on this one, but that would be six inches plus. The heaviest of the precipitation, again, is there for Cape Cod, Nantucket, and Martha's Vineyard. But all of these pink and blue areas are expecting a lot of rain, particularly the pink areas, though. Now, let's look at your NAM 12, 12 km, and you can see some of those reds do show up for Cape Cod on this one, indicating that they're thinking 6 to 7 inches of rain in the bullseye region. But we do have heavy precipitation for Connecticut, Long Island, uh, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island on this one. And then the 3 km NAM, which is a little more conservative with it, ex making those pink colors exclusive for Massachusetts there. Now, let's look at your wind. Now, this is by the GFS, and this is your 10 meter wind speed in knots so pay attention to that but what you need to know is blues and below is 20 knots and below green is 20 to 28 knots yellow is kind of around you know 28 to 36 knots and then your red colors is 36 to 50 knots and then in those purples we're talking 50 knots plus so this is again this morning then let's move on to this evening. You can see a lot of those greens moving on shore to a lot of the coastal regions along the northeastern United States. Even some yellows there for Massachusetts indicating those nearly 30 knot winds, which is very, very windy, might I add. Now let's move on to tomorrow morning. You can see a lot of those reds are moving into to Massachusetts. So you can see Cape Cod, Nantucket, Martha's Vineyard. We're all expecting to get 40 knots to 50 knot winds here with this one by this point. So it's going to be very windy for you guys. Nothing you guys aren't used to with nor'easters, but it is going to be one of those types of events for you guys. I hate to inform you. Here is by Thursday evening, and you can see a lot of those yellows have moved on shore to New Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Massachusetts, even northern Massachusetts in the coastal regions. So this just because you're not going to get heavy rain does not mean you're not going to see quite a bit of rain. And even in those darker blues that extend well on shore along all of the mid-Atlantic and all of the northeast, 
I mean, that's still very windy, 10 knots to 20 knots. You know, it's going to be quite uh, breezy, to say the least. Now, let's move on to Friday morning, and you can see things are starting to weaken around the low-pressure system, but we're still seeing those greens and yellows along the coasts of the northeast. And by, this is kind of Friday evening, you can see a lot of those yellows are pulling back, and we're seeing mostly greens for the coastal regions by that point. And by Saturday morning, you can see that all those greens have now moved offshore and we really just see maybe a little bit of windiness there for the northeast immediate coast, but most of the wind is done by this point. Anyway, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video on this nor'easter. I hope you found it informative. If you did enjoy this, make sure to share it with your friends, whether that's Facebook, and if they, especially if they live in these areas, so they can stay well informed. So if you have family or friends that live there, uh, you can share this to Facebook or any other sorts of social medias that they might be interested to, or just send it to them. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.